In this video, we're going to cover a common question that we receive from school administrators, and that is, how does verification work in X2Vol? Now, before we get into the specifics about verification, I want to spend just a couple of moments going over the difference between verification and approval. Verification is done by the supervisor at the service location that the volunteer attends. And this can really be done in two ways in our system. The first is when a volunteer submits hours via a personal project, which means that they put in all the information for that entry. And they can put in an activity contacts email address and an email is automatically sent to that activity contact with a link to verify the hours that the volunteer is claiming. A nonprofit with an X2Vol account can also verify hours through their system after an event has passed. The student must log those hours before the nonprofit can verify them in their administrative account. Now, in both of these scenarios, if the hours are verified, the school administrator will see the hours as verified in their pending hours page. And we'll take a look at that in just a few moments. Now, with approval, this is done by the school, so their hours are approved towards a goal by a school staff member that subscribed to X2Vol in the pending hours page of their administrative account. Hours can be approved without verification if the school administrator chooses to do that. Verification and approval are independent of each other. You can approve hours as a school administrator even if those hours are not verified, and by the same token, you can also deny hours that have been verified if those hours do not count as service according to your service guidelines. Hours can be approved as soon as the student submits those hours. If you are the verifier and approver, meaning that you are the person who approves hours and you are also the supervisor of that event, you may want to completely bypass verification and simply just approve the hours. Okay, a quick word about our email verification feature. Although it is a great feature, it's important to remember that there are some factors that are beyond our control. Things like people who do not check their email very often or people that have a very strong email filter, they may not be able to receive some of our system emails that we send out for verification. So some activity contacts may not verify the hours digitally, but the school can still approve the hours in their administrative X2Vol account. If your school requires verification beyond this, you can instruct students to submit other forms of verification. And that could be an attachment through X2Vol showing that the hours were done, or in some cases, a paper form in addition to submitting those hours in X2Vol. Okay, so now let's look at the actual workflow in the system. And let's first take a look at personal projects. So as a reminder, a personal project is when a student logs an entry for service and they do that from scratch. So they are not signing up for something through the system. They are finding an opportunity on their own and putting in all the details. So here we're looking at a student view and the way they would create a personal project is by clicking this create new button here in their activity log. So on that screen they're going to have of course the opportunity to fill out all of the details and I want to focus here on the activity contact section. If they fill out this email address field that's where the system will send a verification email to that activity contact as soon as they submit this entry. You may want to encourage your students to fill out this field when they're filling out their entry so that an email is sent to that activity contact. A few recommendations regarding personal projects and verification. So remind your volunteers to tell the activity contact that they should be receiving an email and ask them to check their spam and junk folder if they don't see it right away. Tell them that the subject line of the email is service hour verification and the email will be coming from volunteer verification no reply at x2vol.com there may be some organizations that have emails blocked so you would remind the volunteers to ask the organization to whitelist anything coming from that email address as well 
And finally, let's take a look at verification for school sponsored and nonprofit opportunities. So again, these are opportunities where students sign up for those opportunities inside of X2Vol. So verification is a little bit different for those situations. So let's take a look at that. So I'm currently logged in as a school administrator and the verification piece for those opportunities that are posted by the school can be found within the opportunity details themselves. So I'm going to go up to the opportunities tab and click on my opportunities so we can see an example of this. So let's just choose one that's already been created and I'm going to click edit. On the first page of the edit opportunity section, if we scroll down, we're going to see a section that says send email with verification link to the following contact. So you have the option of, of course, choosing two contacts, but when it comes to the verification link, you would have to choose which one of those two people need to receive that verification link, or you can also select uh, none, which will not send a verification link. And you may want to do that in some cases where the person who's approving hours is also the supervisor, so they don't need to be receiving lots of verification emails. So this is the section that creates that verification link via email. And this interface is the same interface that a nonprofit organization would have. And in addition to that, they also have an interface where they can verify hours from their dashboard. And remember, nonprofit organizations, of course, cannot approve hours, only verify. Okay, so we're back in the dashboard of the administrative side. Now, regardless of the way that an entry is verified, whether that's for the school or for a personal project, those verified hours are going to show up in your pending hours section. So I'm here in the manager section. I'm going to click on pending hours. And again, these hours are all of the entries that are pending approval. So they will come here as soon as the student submits them. Now you'll notice here there's a section for verified hours and anything that's been verified by the school or nonprofit or from the email that was sent with the verification link for any personal projects, those will all appear here. So as you can see, most of these have been verified already. There are a couple that are not, but anytime that that link is processed, it'll update this section immediately. So again, you have the option of approving um, hours that have not been verified if you choose to do that. Uh, and you can also look at the details, of course, in each one of these entries. So that concludes the verification piece in X2Vol. We hope you have a deeper understanding of how verification works. But as always, if you do have additional questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team at the email or the telephone number that you see here, and we'll be happy to assist you. Thanks so much for watching.